Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss is hemoglobin A1c important for diabetics? I am Dr. Jagaji Singh, where KBBS, FCGP, FAMS, PGD, GM. What is HbA1c or glycated hemoglobin? Hemoglobin A1c is what is known as glycated hemoglobin. When the glucose, that is sugar, in your body sticks to your red blood cells, your body can't use the sugar properly. So more of it sticks to your blood cells and builds up in your blood. Normally, the sugar is used for your energy purposes. But when the insulin is low or the action of insulin is not proper, there is higher levels of blood glucose in the blood and that glucose sticks to the RBCs of the blood. Red blood cells are active for around 2-3 months, which is why the reading is taken quarterly. A high HbA1c means you have too much sugar in your blood due to the lack of insulin or its lack of action. This means you are more likely to develop diabetes complications like serious problems with your eyes, feet, heart and kidney. What is it used for? An A1C test may be used to screen for or diagnose type 2 diabetes. With type 2 diabetes, your blood glucose gets too high because your body doesn't make enough insulin to move blood sugar from your bloodstream into your cells or because your cells stop responding to insulin. Pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes means that your blood glucose levels are higher than normal but not high enough to diagnose as diabetes. If you have diabetes or pre-diabetes, an A1C test can help monitor your condition and check how well you have been able to control your blood sugar levels. Why do I need a HbA1C test? You are, if you are over age of 45, if your results are normal, you should repeat the test every three years. If your results show you have diabetes, pre-diabetes, you will usually need to be tested every one to two years. Ask your provider how often to get tested and what you can do to reduce your risk of developing diabetes. If your results show you have diabetes, you should get an A1C test at least twice a year to monitor your condition and treatment. Why do I need HbA1C test? You are under 45. Previously it was above 45. Now it is under 45 and are more likely to develop diabetes because you have pre-diabetes already, you are overweight or have obesity, you have a parent or sibling with type 2 diabetes, you have high blood pressure or high cholesterol levels, you have heart disease, you have uh, had a stroke, you are physically active less than three times a week, you have had gestational diabetes if you are pregnant or you gave birth to a baby in the previous pregnancies over 9 pounds. You have polycystic ovarian syndrome problem. Why do I need HbA1c test? You may also need an A1c test if you have symptoms of diabetes. You are feeling very thirsty, urinating or peeing a lot, losing weight without trying, feeling very hungry. You have got blurred vision, numb and tingling hands or feet, 
you are always fatigued you have got dry skin you have sores and he sores in the body don't heal rapidly or take time you are having more infections than usual in your body what happens during an a1c test a healthcare professional will take a blood sample from a vein in your arm using a small needle after the needle is inserted a small amount of blood will be collected into the test tube or a vial you may feel a little sting when the needle goes in or out this usually takes less than 5 minutes what are the values to diagnose diabetes or pre diabetes the percentage is commonly used are normal is a1c below 5.7% pre diabetes a1c between 5.7% and 6.4 that is the central figure yes this one and diabetes above the 6.5 or higher providers often use more than one test to diagnose diabetes so if your test results was higher than normal you may have another a1c test or a different type of diabetes test usually either a fasting blood glucose test or an oral glucose test tolerance test hba1 test HbA1c test and finger prick test what is the different in HbA1c test we measure your average blood sugar level over last 2 3 months finger prick test snapshot of blood sugar levels at the time of taking the blood number 2 everyone with diabetes should have this test in finger prick test only people taking diabetes mellitus medicine should get it number 3 in the hba1 test usually done every 3 to 6 months the finger prick test done a number of times daily usually 2 to 10 times to see the uh, level of glucose in a diabetic number 4 blood is taken from arm or finger in finger prick test a tiny drop of blood taken from finger only number 5 a healthcare professional will do it for you number 5 you can do it yourself on glucometer number 6 doctors can use this test to find out how someone is managing his diabetes to diagnose diabetes and find out if someone is at risk of type 2 diabetes in finger prick test this test is mainly used for patients living with diabetes what is the fastest way to reduce hba1c below are seven different ways you can work on lowering your a1c over time diet diet is an important factor when it comes to your blood sugar exercise daily exercise 5 days a week at least 30 minutes is very very essential weight loss even <laughs> even a weight loss of 10% gives you marvelous results in your all type of diabetes complications medications for high a1c follow up with your healthcare provider for his guidance manage stress and mental health find a community for diabetes self management which situations affect hba1c results the a1c results is not used to diagnose gestational gestational diabetes or type 1 diabetes if you have a condition that affects your red blood cells such as anemia or another type of blood disorder an a1c test may not be accurate for diagnosing diabetes kidney failure is another 
liver disease is another. They can also affect the A1C results. In these cases, your provider may recommend different tests to diagnose diabetes and pre-diabetes. Your A1C levels corresponding to the average blood sugar in milligram per deciliter. If your A1C is 4, it corresponds to 68 milligram per deciliter, 5 to 97, 6 to 126. 126 is the cutoff line of declaring you as diabetic. So 6 A1C is the diabetic number 7 152 8 183 9 12 10 240 11 269 12 percent 298 and so on thank you very much If you like this video, please like, comment and share and give your opinion. Thank you very much.